Hi everybody, I am back for the second card. We're gonna do our fun fold next. And I used um, the Beauty of Friendship bundle from the annual catalog for this card. And this is a really fun bundle and nice for fall. So we've got uh, also some designer series paper to match and some really fun um, dies and all sorts of fun trees and things that you can cut out with, um, with the dies. So let's get to our card here. The fun fold is actually the designer series paper itself. So I cut um, four inches so you can get three cards out of a 12 by 12 sheet and then three it's by 12 so four by 12 inches and just depending on how you fold the card is how you can um, get that fun fold and we're just layering it on top of a um, piece of a single sheet a quarter sheet of cardstock so the folds I used are um, one and a quarter four and a quarter nine and a half and then I put a little piece on the inside to stamp on or you can just this this pretty cloud paper would be pretty you could just stamp right on that as well so depending on which one you got on your kit I picked a different one here so we could try something different um, so the the smallest um, fold here you can either have it at the top or you could even do it at the bottom I did it at the top in this card so why don't we be um, different and do it at the bottom do something different and um, so I'm going to follow my directions here. Score and fold the designer series paper. That part's already done. And before we adhere this on, we're going to go ahead and tie the flap with the ribbon. I, I'm using the fine art ribbon and 14 inches of ribbon. So, oh dear, I have to tie a bow on a video, but we'll see how it goes here. Actually, just a knot. Knots are easier than bows. So... Go ahead and tie, tie the knot, so I need a little more on that side. And I should check the inside of the card just to make sure that it's not going in, the, in a wonky direction when I open it up. So let me just check if I do it on the bottom, whoops, I totally messed that up and I tied it around the whole card which is not what I was supposed to do just tie it around that front flap okay now I can open the card and I've got the wood grain inside so that is going to be just fine for um, either direction so I could either have it like this or like that so you can play around with the measurements and um, and as long as you have that five and a quarter gap there in the center that's what goes on your um, cardstock backing and then you can play with uh, how that lays out all right that's better okay now some stamping okay I have I gave everybody both of the labels that come with the die cuts and so you can stamp whatever you like on those why don't I just do the hello since I grabbed that one. I have on my sample thinking of you, but we'll stamp the hello and be different on this one. I've got early espresso ink here, and let's see, I want to keep that ink out because I'm going to stamp a tree on the inside. So let me get my tree stamp here. And I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. Or if you have a small sentiment, like if you were going to do the hello on the inside, then I would stamp the tree over to the edge. If you don't have the beauty of friendship stamp set, then just grab um, whatever you have on hand and put some sentiments. You could even do some florals or if you have some leaf stamps, that would look pretty on the inside as well. Okay, now I need to stamp um, some leaves on my bare tree here. So I'm just going to grab, um, there's actually two large ones that you can layer on top of each other and two smaller ones. But I'm just going to use one of the smaller ones because this is a distinctive stamp. We already have some shading just in the single stamp. So I'm going to be lazy and just stamp Bumblebee on the top of my tree. And 
there we go. If I wanted to, I could, um, actually, I think on my sample, I did add some more. So we could add a darker color there with the other one. So let's um, put this on the inside of the card, and then I think we'll be done. So there we go. I've got my tree. Maybe I can think of a fun sentiment to put on the inside there. What else do we have in this? Oh, thinking of you. So we could do hello on the outside, and then thinking of you on the inside. That would look pretty. So. Hello on the outside. And you can put your sentiment on the bottom like this or on the top, however you like it. Grab early espresso again. And let's see, I didn't leave much room um, on the side there, so I'm just going to put my thinking of you on the top. A little crooked, but at least people will know I made it by hand and I made it for them. Okay, so there is our fun fold card. And I'm going to clean up my mess here and get to my third card in just a minute. See you in a minute, everybody.